hopefully spraying the fly spray, <coughs> not fly spray, air spray, uh, while it's printing, makes it tacky so it will stick more, just hopefully. I don't know what to do with this. Um, it just doesn't want to stick to the bed. That's, uh, you know, flush, uh, hairspray seems to be the best. Okay. I just spray it on the corners as it's doing it. That way, hopefully, those corners will stay stuck. But we will see. This is a 0.6 nozzle too, so it might spread out and flow a bit more onto the base, onto the bed. Only living hope, eh? Only that first layer that you put down and as the guy on the internet said, you've got to smooch it down so that it's smooched into the surface or it gets sort of half, half up, half push, half smooched. It's very technical. Well, I'm looking at my list here of all the people in the channel. And I'd like to say hello to Yukon. He's a printing expert from... Uh, uh, America. He has a gun printing operation. Uh, he uh, hopes be, to be ready for the apocalypse, uh, which yeah, could come soon. Then we have the uh, Doobly Oobly, that's the regular banana bender from Queensland. And then Pommy Dave, poor Dave, he's stuck in friggin' New Zealand with all them Kiwis. I don't know <coughs> if he's going to survive, but I think he's trying really hard to service all of them. Anyway, that's uh, shout outs. Oh, yeah, Verity. Verity, the third old young lady down in Melbourne. <laughs> Win 32. Hey, I don't know about him. Yeah, oh, it might be a terrorist. And then you've got. Uh, I don't know, Doobs the vegan that delivers meat pies. <laughs> he works for Uber Eats. Uh, pretty good. This isn't looking too bad. All we have to do is make sure it stays stuck to the base. Well, I'm hoping it does. I've got uh, no temperature on the base, so hopefully it cools fast as it touches. I don't want it to cool up on the edges like it normally does. Hate that. You know what I hate? Cooling up on the edges. Yeah. Then the Stiv, he's the uh, blender expert in the other channel. Look at that. That's amazing. I like my 3D printer. Look at my cable chain. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's got all of these leads, got them all over there. And I did have a problem with the thermostat. Well, not the thermostat. The temperature sensor in there, it comes out. Just, you don't have to touch it. It just comes out. It's too loose. Needs gluing. How can you glue it? You can't because it's stinking hot. So I just pushed it back in and, and just hoped for the best. Other than that, you know. Not much you can do. It was blowing smoke at me. And I'm thinking, what the hell's going on? And then I turned it off. And thought, and I looked. And I thought, ah, oh, it's just been sitting too long. But no, there was no thermostat in there. So, well, no sensor in there. So it just kept heating up. I don't know what temperature it got to, but there was smoke coming <laughs> off the nozzle. So I'd say it was pretty damn hot. So remember, make sure your thermostats or your 
sensor is inside that uh, aluminium block because uh, it just keeps heating up otherwise it was out in mid-air saying oh it's only 38 degrees and yep that wasn't true yeah, so next on the list we're we're um, making this for a, a square tube and it's going to have two bearings each side so as it sits under and over the square tube and becomes a uh, axis runner. I, I, I am hoping it'll be good but we will see. I don't know how many times I'm going to have to print it before I get a good one but this one started out okay. Anyway that's, um, that's pretty well it for now. This is a ABS um, filament, by the way. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, have a good day.